thank you so much for letting me know. I totally forgot. So yes, OBS can also um, stream high quality video. Or I'm sorry, record it while you're streaming, which I actually forgot to turn on while I was doing this. So I actually just turned it on. So anyone who's watching the um, archive of this later on, um, it's just going to begin right now because I totally forgot to hit that button. Um, and actually, with low gravity on and all this stuff, I can't get out of the ground. So Mario is stuck right here, or maybe I just exited the window. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I thought I couldn't get out of the ground. Um, but I cannot remember how to get the sandbird out. I think it used to be... I swear it used to be you had to get Wiggler or something off the... Um, the giant temple thingy. Oh, duh. I'm an idiot. This is an entrance. <laughs> Didn't even see it when I came up the first time. Okay, so this is going to take us to the Sandbird, which is actually something I want to show you. Um, so, the Sandbird is, um, frustrates a lot of people, but I absolutely love it because I would always come here and I would try to obviously not, not pay attention to the Sandbird, but when he flies by these towers, um, even without codes, you can use um, you can make Mario get onto the center tower if you were to jump from this cloud and use your hover. Um, and you can actually get onto these towers, which I always thought was cool because they actually decide to make these walkable. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, now that I have cheats, I'm actually going to go all the way to the top because I didn't do this as a, a kid. Actually, you know, when I was younger, I didn't actually have... Oh, jeez, this doesn't have collision. <laughs> okay, so I guess the clouds up here and stuff, or the... The towers do not have collision, which means you just go through or not. Now it has collision. Interesting. I wonder if I can sit on top of this. Oh, gee. Okay, so th that makes sense. The last coin's up here. We're going to try getting out to these outer towers because normally you can't get to them. <clears throat> Let's see. Cricket Gaming, you should try to look up... There's some tutorials that can help you with um, the parameters for OBS, um, which will allow you to basically change the settings so you're not just using 240p. You can set your... There's also, if you're, if you're doing a live stream, you have to set up your parameters on YouTube as well. Let it know what, what type of stream it's expecting um, so it can, I guess, stream it adequately. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to... I actually want to get way up here and show you guys an aerial of this. So anyone who watched my... Actually, this won't work because the camera's going to get below me. I'm going to fall all the way down here and then we're going to take the camera for a spin. Um, so when I did my um, Pixel Portal, obviously I used the Sandbird in this... Um, in the video because I used it in this... Uh, it was part of the stage. I wanted to talk about my experience with the Sandbird. But I want to show you guys what this looks like from way, way up in the air. Um, which I need to land to do that first. Otherwise, I'm going to just die. Okay. So let's get this camera situated. Okay. So now we're going to punch out way far into the stratosphere. So when I did my, my uh, Pixel Portal video, I actually got a shot way out here. And uh, this is actually how I did it, was that, you know, I was using... But, uh, so yeah, it's a, it's, it's a pretty neat area. I always loved this area as a kid because of all these different towers. It reminded me of the area in Super Mario 64 that has towers just like this. Um, <clears throat> Super Sand. <laughs> um, I, that'd be amazing, watching someone try to beat Super Mario Sunshine in .5 A presses. Actually, it'd probably be, honestly, it may be even easier than, actually, it would be easier than Super Mario 64. Um, I'm just gonna let my character die. But, uh, because you can use the hover nozzles, which technically aren't A. But, uh, if you had no backpack, then, or no flood, then that would be really interesting. Um, okay, this, I thought it was gonna kick me out of the level. Let me land real fast, and I'm going to exit. <clears throat> I 
Let's see. So yeah, um, someone mentions no wonder it takes you so long to make videos. Uh, yeah, my videos, they take a long time to make because I want to treat them like, I guess, like documentaries. Um, so I always try to get really cool shots. I always try to, you know, animate some cool things because I want the video sort of to be an experience. I just don't want it to be like, I guess, gameplay and stuff like that. I want it to be like something you can expect as if you were watching a documentary. Um, I want to come to Nookie Bay because there's a couple of things I want to show. Um, we'll just go to the, f the first one. Actually, I don't think any of these really matter, truthfully. We'll go to the shell secret. <clears throat> I agree. Uh, Triforce uh, Mayhem. I agree. The, the stages... The secret stages or the hidden stages, um, the ones that have that funky background music in Super Mario Sunshine, would be awful to try with any types of limitation. They're like the hardest thing. Um, but why I want to come to Nookie Bay, because this Nookie Bay, normally you can't... Um, there's all these cool things underwater, if I remember correctly, and you can't actually get to them. Um, however, if you have um, basically this enable, which will let me sink, we can actually go to the bottom of the bay. Now I'm past an area where you normally can't go. But as you can see, there's all these different corals and things down here. So the game right now is constantly running um, as if I'm surfacing the water, which is why you see this trail behind me. Um, and this allows me to actually come down here and, and sort of, you know, walk around like I'm out of bounds. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Let's see. You can also get out of the boundaries up above too. I'll get up here in a second. Matthew uh, Panay um, Super Mario 64 ROM hacks are so amazing. Like, they've done so many cool things. Um, Skellix is a guy who made, uh, the two-player Super Mario 64. He also did Star Road. Um, hopefully I'm not butchering his name. But, um, there's so many, even, like, Last Impact, then you have the, the super difficult ones. I believe it's Insanity or, um, Extreme Edition, where it's just impossibly hard <laughs> um all of them are really cool but uh i would actually you know i just like love seeing how far that stuff has come and what people have created with those let's see so superior sand a long time ago you at in the chat you asked what my favorite sonic game was um i did not have sega as a kid so <laughs> my um, only experience with Sonic games were actually when I played them over my friend's house. Um, until we ended up getting Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I can't really say it's my favorite Sonic game because the only other games I've played have been, geez, Sonic Heroes, I played Sonic Colors, um, a lot of the newer games, which obviously a lot of people argue that the newer games are nowhere as good as the, the old games, which I understand that. Um, I have a lot of fun with Sonic Adventure 2 though. That's a, that's... My brother and I used to play that all the time on multiplayer, um, and that was definitely a lot of fun. Let's see. Okay, I should be able to fall beneath the boundaries here. Oh, jeez. I can't see anything. <laughs> and Mario kicks himself back into boundaries. Okay. Um, I don't have infinite, so, uh, Delirious Cat, I don't have infinite hover on right now because I guess I don't need it because I have the infinite jump, which just lets me, you know, do anything anyways. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another thing I wanted to, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll go to, back to Delfino Plaza. Um, there is another, I was going to show the red coin mission here because it takes you to a different, a, a bottle. Um, which is kind of interesting because that inside a bottle forces you underground, um, or I'm sorry, underwater completely and it has different controls, but, um, but, uh, 
here's what Nookie Bay... I always liked... Um, anyone who's obviously looked into the Toll Islands, like, I always loved the scale of Nookie Bay. Um, or a lot of the places um, in Sumara Sunshine, because obviously the, the water distorts a little bit, but it's... It always, like... It has a real sense of an island. You don't ever feel like you're disconnected because all the other areas are always right there with you. Um, which I always thought was really cool. Um, so even without cheats, even without these different things, you can always look and see the other parks that you were at before, like the playground or the uh, amusement park or um, you know, the big windmill. There's so many different things um, you can see. But I'm going to go back to the hub world real fast. So, uh, Gen Enderman, other games I played as a kid. Um, Nintendo 64 was obviously big for me, Super Nintendo, um, and GameCube. I pretty much had all the platformers, um, but a lot of multiplayer games too. Um, I ended up spending a lot of time um, on multiplayer games. Because, you know, I had my brothers and that's what we would do. We would just challenge each other all the time, making up new challenges. Um, that's what those games and games videos are about to some degree. Um, so, one thing I want to show here is... Um, back before, so when I played this when I was younger, I actually didn't have the infinite jump. I had the moon jump, and I had the rocket nozzle pack. Um, but this is sort of well known in the community, um, that there are actually, um, spaces stored above the, um, the map. I'm not, oh, here we go, right here. I'm not sure in the exact coordinates, but there we go. So... Super Mario Sunshine just stored all of its buildings and stuff outside the, above the map. So these boxes I'm, I'm with up in the sky right now are actually, I can actually show you where the entrance is at. Um, give me one second. It is down, actually, I guess stop moving my, there we go. I believe it's right here. Um, I think that takes you up. One of them takes you up into where I'm at now. Now, nothing is loaded, obviously. Um, but uh, this is one of the rooms. And there's another one, too. The, the guy who has the star. And I can actually exit the door in a second. So he has a challenge if you break him. But I'm just going to exit. It's just kind of funny because I just <laughs> fall back down. Um, let's see. I'll see if I can get to um, Julia York. I'll see if I can get to a boss here in a, in a bit. I'm going to see if um, I can find this other building real fast. I believe it's right above this um, area right here. Oh, another interesting thing um, that I'll point out. When I was younger, I used to think that these sewer lids, because when you go down in them, they flip. Sometimes they flip to um, a, a moon, and sometimes the moon stays up. I thought, like, if you flipped all the different um, sewer lids to, like, the moon, that something would happen, but I never did. But that's just something I kind of did for fun. So here's another one. So this is what it looks like, actually. So you walk inside. The game takes you into this room with a fixed angle, and that's pretty much it. Now, the same, a the same place is, like, right up here. It's going to take a little bit to get up here, but... See? Now I'm in the same place. Same people are up here. It's just kind of funny because, like, they're just... We're all just floating in the sky. <laughs> Let's see. Exit this. Nope. I don't have any blue coins. Sorry, mister. Okay. Let's try to get out of here. Okay, group vote, I guess, from the chat. What boss would you want me to fight? Do you want me to fight Blooper? Do you want me to fight PD Piranha? Um, do you want me to fight Bowser? Um, actually, Bowser might be kind of neat, but let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll linger for a second so I can kind of see some uh, 
different answers in the chat, and then we'll go there based on what everyone says. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> so, uh, another thing I want to mention before we go to this. The fruit in Super Mario Sunshine makes no sense. Like, look how big these bananas are. <laughs> like, and like... Lemons are the same size as pineapples. I go into this in my video later this week, but uh, I always thought this was super strange because nothing on Isle Delfino matches up in scale. Um, so let's see, we have King Boo, Bowser, P. Jeez. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, so we see a lot of King Boos, a lot of PDs. Oh, jeez. Okay, so why don't we do this? Because there's a lot... I don't even know how to take count of all these. We will do... Um, PD first. Because all these are, all these bosses are going to take a second to get to with um, the cheats. So we'll go and fight PD first. Oh, jeez, the Shadow Ray thing. I forgot about that thing, too. Um, so let's see. We'll go to this one real fast. Um... Because there was, I, I have no way of keeping track of the votes, so that was poor on my part. Um, we are going to, this is actually kind of interesting. <laughs> Mario is just perpetually spinning, and then we can turn him big. Um, we'll go through a couple different bosses. So once I land. <laughs> this is so creepy, look at Mario. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Mario just completely freezes in midair. Okay, so I think I don't remember, I don't think P's on top of the tower. Maybe he is on top of the tower again. We'll check out. I don't... Does anyone remember where P.D. Piranha's at? <laughs> I remember in the first mission, he's on top of the tower. Um, is he in... Maybe he's back in this valley. Or maybe this guy will tell me. Okay. Thanks, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. It's back. I'm not going to tell you where it's at. Let's see. Actually, no, I did not watch the opening cutscene. That would probably be it. <laughs> I'm going to assume he's over here because of how destroyed the village is. Let's see, he's over hill left of the windmill. Hill left of windmill, let's see. Okay, I see him. Thanks guys and gals. <laughs> I totally, I was like, oh, I have no idea where he's at. Okay. Oh, jeez. What is going on down here? Is there supposed to be this many pigs? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember now. Okay. It's all coming back. As I get hit. We're going to go over here. We're going to cheat and see if we can do this in that air. Nope. What happens if I just touch him? Oh, he doesn't even do anything. <laughs> Blaze of Fire, what game do I play normally? Um, I play a lot of games normally, honestly. It's just 
Um, when I'm done playing them, I actually go. I always try to go back and. Um, okay, am I going crazy? Or is this isn't this supposed to shoot off? <laughs> okay, I should have hit him. All right. I wish I could do the Breath of the Wild slow motion arrow aim. They'd be legit. Um, Icky Hotman asks, how do I make him big? That is, um, I'm using a cheat that changes, it modifies the size of Mario. And this is stuck aiming up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's not coming alive, <laughs> no matter how I hit him. Okay, let me... Clean up some of this. I'm gonna die at this rate. Which is actually kind of funny, because this is a normally a very easy boss. There we go, finally hit him. Come on, Mario. <laughs> the, the, slow, the low gravity makes it so hard to move because you're constantly... Um, you're constantly trying to fight it. Like Once you start moving, there's not a whole lot you can do. Let's see if I can snipe him out of the air. Oh, what? I should have hit him. <clears throat> Mr. Fubar, <laughs> Date Mary Kill, Aladdin Skeletor, and Lex Luthor. I hate Lex Luthor. I think he's a weird villain, so he's definitely kill. Um, however, jeez. The, the genie's really cool, so I'm going to have to say... We'll date, and then Skeletor, you have to marry Skeletor because he's Skeletor. Um, and plus he has like the best skeleton puns. Okay, I don't see where he went because I'm not paying attention. Um, let's see. There he is. Ugh. Let's see if we can try to hit him again while he's in midair. You have to fill his... Okay. So I guess I have to fill his mouth when he stops, so no more pig guys. Jesus, low gravity is killing me. <laughs> I can't just follow him. It's like I have to commit to every single jump. So we're going to cut him off because I know he's going to go over here next. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be, which is funny because it's a pretty simple boss fight. Um, because once I use water in midair once, it doesn't let me correct my direction. Oh jeez, come on. 
<laughs> and then something like this happens where I get launched way up in the air. And it's gonna take me a minute just to fall down. <clears throat> Mario is just bouncing around. You can, so, for the one who's saying aim with X, you can, um, you can, hold on a second. Again, like, once I shoot, it's like, it's preventing me from actually, I like have to ground pound to get to that to the ground in time. <laughs> so this is way <laughs> Oh jeez. This is way harder than I thought it would be. All the cheats are actually like prevent <laughs> oh, are actually preventing me from from fighting him like cuz this is normally a pretty easy fight. Also, I don't remember how... Do you hit him with the pig balloons again? Is that how it works? Okay, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna die any second. <laughs> yeah, it was... I think uh, X is a switch to the nozzle, but um, you can aim in the air with um, uh, Y, which obviously you guys have been saying. Let's see... But, um, okay, so that turned out horribly. <laughs> um, for those who are saying the infinite life cheat, I actually have not gotten that to work. Um, but uh, I know, let's see, what were the, oh, let's go to, name's escaping me, uh, King Boo. Which, I can't remember which one's, this is to, this is probably not to King Boo's place. I can't remember which, which one leads to King's Boo. Is it this one? <clears throat> so if I use, I'm thinking, I had, I might quit this if this doesn't. Oh, geez, come on! <laughs> Here goes the gravity again. Um, I gotta remember where King Boo's at. Um, I think he's up in this one. If not, he's by the pipe I was just near. Jeez. Hopefully this is what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh no, I, did. I chose the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna exit this real fast. By the way, uh, I will say the Goopy Inferno at Piano Village was one of my favorite levels as a kid because I would just try to make the lava spread to everyone. <laughs> that was cruel. Um, so I'm gonna exit this. Um, Go back to the one I was... Yeah, I went in the wrong pipe, so I need to go back. <clears throat> okay, so let's try over here. Yeah, I need to get to Serena Beach. So I, could, I, I got those two confused. For some reason, I was thinking Serena Beach was the one on top. <clears throat> Big Boo's um, fight is pretty interesting because... Um, when I was making my EGAD video, uh, obviously I came here to get footage and stuff, but, uh, you can, the top of the, the ring, you can actually get out of, I believe, if I'm, remember, yeah, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, jeez, here we go again. <clears throat> it's 
get up here. Oh, jeez. Come on. Uh, melon speedruns. I'll have to check out your your message you sent later on the Discord. But um, for anyone else, there is a uh, Swinky Box does have a Discord now. Um, there's a link in the description, um, and I'll I'll pop it here in the chat here in a second um, for anyone who wants to join. Okay, so King Boo, if I remember correctly, he's in the casino. Oh, jeez. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is low gravity. It's awesome, but it's such a... <clears throat> so I have to be careful in the casino, too, because... With low gravity on in the casino, you can get stuck above the doorways, and the only way to get out is to exit the level. Um, I'll show you what I'm... What I'm talk Jesus. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um... So these little things up here, so if I, if I try to climbing on top of those, I'll actually get stuck indefinitely. Um, if I try to get on top of that doorway. I discovered that when I was really young because I was in here just messing around trying to get out of boundaries and stuff. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it, you get stuck indefinitely. Jen Enderman asked if I ever played Legos as a kid. I was super into Legos as a kid. Um, especially with the Lego games, I was, um, Lego Creator, which, for those of you who don't know, was, like, I guess, my version of Minecraft. Um, let me fly up here. So this is actually where you come down. We can get out of here, and then... Um, but Lego Creator was my version of Minecraft, and it was so cool, and I wish they would re-release it. I also played, in terms of LEGO games, besides LEGOs, I played LEGO Loco, which is basically like a, sort of like a Sims. Um, you build a lot of train stations and houses and stuff, and you can have, you know, people move to your town. Um, but yeah, I loved, um, loved LEGOs as a kid. Okay. Last purple square. I I also like not killing the boos because he just keeps spawning them. So if anyone's asking, you know, if you're curious of why I'm just leaving them alive, because I always like watching him just spawn them over and over and over again to see how many he can actually spawn. And I'm pretty sure it goes on. I'm not sure if it's forever, but it goes on for quite a long time. some fruit. No fruit this time, just enemies. <clears throat> Waterworks Studio. I don't know if I've, I've watched Master Disguise. Um, is that a newer show? Because it sounds like an older show too. But I have not watched it. I'm thinking I'm okay there we go. I think you either kill all the enemies or you um Let's see. <clears throat> hey Watermark, uh thanks for coming out. Um I'm going to try to do a lot more streams um <laughs> later on. Um, this is my third one, actually. Yay, I can heal. <clears throat> I 
I never got to try the LEGO Star Wars games either, um, for those of you who mentioned that in the chat. Um, I know LEGO Star Wars, Batman, all of them are well received by a lot of people. Um, geez, you give me more coins. Oh, no, fruit. Okay, this is... Nope, hot pepper. That did not... How did it not hit him? Lemon? I was not paying attention again, just throwing it out there. I always thought... I can't remember if you had actually hit him with a specific fruit. I need to really pay attention next time the fruit comes out, because... Because I realize I'm just... When I'm responding to the chat, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing in the game. Um... That's what I thought. Okay. I was wondering why the hot pepper didn't... Jeez. I was wondering why the hot pepper didn't work. Um, that would make sense. I just thought you had to hit him in general with it. The tongue would make sense. It's funny how, like... You know, obviously I played this so much growing up. It's like... I just forget this stuff. It's really, it's really interesting. Because um, I probably beat this guy tons of times as a kid. Ooh, water. I'm actually gonna take some of that. Doesn't help that every time I get hit, I go flying either. Okay, let's see if we can get him with a hot pepper this time. This will probably be the Swanky Box boss run where I die at every single boss. So every time I jump on one, it kicks me back into the air with the low, with the low gravity again. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to turn off low gravity because then it's just a normal play. I gotta I gotta stick with low gravity. Okay, King Boo obviously kicked my butt. I want to go to Bowser's World because I know some people requested that as well. Um, because the, the fire, um, they're actually I think there might be a cheat, and I'll have to look into it. Um, that actually allows you to not get hurt by the, the lava in here. Um, I'll have to check real fast. I always thought this was an interesting, this was an interesting level because it's like one of the only places besides the hidden worlds, um, that is an, like an actual Mario level, um, other than just a hub world. Um, this plays out just like your, you know, your typical Mario stage. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I have, if I can get into this lava without dying. Give me one second. I remember seeing it before. I actually might not, I might have not entered it though, so that would suck. <clears throat> yeah, I don't actually have it entered, so I would, that would take a while to look, to, to find out what it is. Um, so we're just going to go check out Bowser. <clears throat> Core Blaster. Yeah, it's, I, I think um, in terms of, uh, you said there needs to be streams where you, res you uh, just respond to the chat. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'm still getting used to the playing the game while trying to talk to people who who are through the lens of a camera. Um, but uh, I'm getting sort of used to it.
Oh, sure. Okay, that didn't work. I forgot that thing crashes, it just burns. <clears throat> Anytime I see a boat or anything, I just think of uh, Breath of the Wild now and just launching it through stasis. Let's see. This is gonna take a while to get over here because I'm. I can see if I can land on this little water thing and that would help. Come on, Mario. Land. <laughs> okay. So I think we actually can beat Bowser without the um, jetpack. I'm sorry, without the yeah the uh, the jet nozzle, the rocket nozzle, because I think I can just go up here myself. I always thought the peach. Slash Bowser slash Mario dynamic was really strange, and I feel like I'm not the only one who thinks that. Also, I like how Bowser Jr. is just like stuck in his normal pose, just floating in the water, not even swimming. For any of those who just noticed that. So let's see if I can see how high we are. Oh geez, the culling is destroying the map. That's interesting. I didn't move at all, but it made me move. Huh. So this is what it's like to fly around Bowser's bath. Oh geez. So the problem is when I get hit by fire again, it, it makes, I can't do anything. I'm stuck. I'm if, maybe if one of these guys hit me. <laughs> so I'm stuck in an endless loop of just going up and down. I can't move in any direction. My hope is I can get hit by a missile and fix that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. There we go. Somehow I knew that would work, and I don't remember how. Okay. Um, I got uh, Watermark in terms of if I got Breath of the Wild for... Um, I got it for Wii U, actually. I missed the... Uh, the uh, pre or the pre-order for the, the Switch by a long shot. Actually, I want to see where this stuff goes. I'm curious to see where this... Come on. And the camera doesn't behave. Because it just disappears. Let's see. <clears throat> As a kid, I also never questioned why Bowser was just in a random flying bathtub in the middle of the sky. <laughs> you just kind of accept it. Um... Makes absolute no sense. I think it's... There we go. What? I should have hit that. Let's try this again. I keep missing the mark on this. Baby Charmander, I don't know if you're referring to the actual bath in terms of what Bowser is bathing in. I don't know. It's a sky bath. But on top of that, I feel like it's just water that's extremely saturated in bath salt. Um, my my headcanon is that it's like a eucalyptus <laughs> bath salt blend. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely strange. Come on, Mario. Stop bouncing. Stop bouncing. 
<sighs> I'm stuck in another infinite loop. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try going over here. Oh jeez, I'm stu I'm dead now. I can't, I can't stop moving. Oh, here we go. We're coming back. <laughs> I hit the wall of the... Uh... Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. No, it's not. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm stuck in an infinite loop. Because I don't want to... Blaze of Fire, my favorite boss is <laughs> is probably, um, oh jeez, that's a new. Okay, I'm dead. I'm just gonna let my, my character die. <clears throat> um, so, real fast, favorite boss in this game is, uh, probably, I just, I'm trying to remember all the bosses. There's the giant squid. I'm just gonna let Mario die because I can't get out of this infinite loop. I would actually, you know, probably Bowser. Bowser has a pretty unique fight. Um, and I did like his a lot. Um, the giant electric squid, or sorry, the electric uh, stingray is pretty interesting as well. Um, Gomon 65. Uh, in terms of frame rates in the Wii U, I haven't had any issues with it dropping at all. It's been... It's been running really good. Um... I've had no issues with the game whatsoever. Uh, I know there was an update the other day that they, they fixed the frame rates supposedly, but I had never experienced any um, issues with it, so I can't really say much about that. Oh, jeez. All right. Gavin Jaff. <laughs> Did you know there is a theory that the monsters of Undertale are the descendants of Pokemon? <laughs> um, no, but I do now. Um, the, I love the the crazy Undertale theories. That's not crazy. I mean, the, I guess the creative Undertale theories. Um... I'm stuck again. There's also a lot of people thought Sans was Steven Universe. That was pretty funny. Come on, Mark. Oh, <sighs> Bulbasaur, you said what heals you in this game? It's it's coins. Um, I don't know if this fight actually has any coins. Maybe if you destroy the bullet bills, I guess normally. You would get coins, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm stuck again. I can't. I can only. I can't even move left or right. I can only move up and down. Let's try hitting this. Okay, there we go. Nope. Let's see if we can get a really, really big ground pound out of this. So I should also mention, if I use the rocket jet at all, with low gravity on... Actually, that's how I'll end the stream with the rocket jet. It's insane. Um, I'll never come back down. I'll just go indefinitely up in the sky. But I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, Game Bro, again, for Breath of the Wild. I, I'm pretty far into it, um, honestly. So I did not get any... I mean, I probably have a good... I don't know, 40, 50 hours in? Um, I know there's a lot to do in that game, so I guess that's not a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, no lag. Maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. Mario is stuck again. <sighs> Dude, um... 3530? I totally agree. I have no idea where the indefinite amount of water is coming from in this bathtub. Because um, it should be f way already 
I'm gone. Hopefully I have this lined up right now. Let's see. So, so Bow <laughs> Bowser just looks like Bowser just hangs tight at the bottom of the, the level when he falls. <clears throat> Colgan the dog. Um, what's my favorite GameCube game? <sighs> That's hard. Super Mario Sun, probably Super Mario Sunshine. Um, definitely is one of them. Luigi's Mansion. I I play Luigi's Mansion all the time too because there's something about it. And even though it like. I guess in some ways it kind of gets uh, stale to some degree because it's not much changes in the game. But um, Luigi's Mansion is another game that I really enjoy. But um, then there's Melee. Anytime anyone asks me what my favorite game is, I always have a super hard time saying what it is because I have so many fond memories with so many different games. Um, another favorite of mine is a game that's actually for GameCube and PS2. Uh, Mystic Heroes, which not a lot of people know about, is basically like a childish version of Dynasty Warriors, but the multiplayer is so intense, um, and I love it. I'll have to do a stream of that sometime too, because not a lot of people know that game exists, nor do they fight to the extent that my brothers and I did in that game. But... <clears throat> Let's see, um, we probably got about 10 minutes left on the stream. Um, so for the final moments, I'll just answer any questions. I do want to, like I said, I, I want to show you guys what happens when you rocket off in the sky with low gravity on. Um, I'll do that here in a second. Um, so if you guys have any other questions while I'm, while I'm waiting for that to happen, go ahead and ask them. Um, and I'll see what I can answer. Um, Melon Speedruns. Um, definitely, yeah, check out the Discord. If you guys ever want to chat or talk to other people you know other other people who are creative i don't know like the 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 swanky box discord chat has a lot of cool areas we have theory discussions a creative area for anyone who's into art or making stuff um nostalgia there's a lot of different things but i, I started the discord because i want a better way to communicate with everyone um but i'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> so once the credits start rolling, I'm going to reset the game so that I can go and show you guys Delfino. Um, I know some people in the chat saying they've never beat the game before and they want to see the credits, so I don't want to cut that out early. But um, I'll let them roll for a little bit. Basically, it shows a lot of photos from the vacation that Mario um, and Peach were supposed to take, but ended up not taking because of all this incident. But um, I'll let it roll for a bit, then I'll reset. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset this real fast. <clears throat> My Blaze of Fire, what's your favorite emoji? My favorite emoji is probably, um, sarcastically, it's the A-OK -okay sign. I actually really hate it, but that's what makes it so funny. Um, the eggplant. The eggplant makes no... I mean, in the context of the conversations that I have, I just drop eggplants randomly, and it's just, it's just kind of funny. I don't know. Um, I would say probably the eggplant is my favorite emoji. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire this up. Pancake Train 576. Um... I think it's fun to, to go back and kind of mess with games that you've already beaten as a kid. Um, it's kind of, it's, in, it's interesting, really it is. Like, you go back and you kind of experience them a different way after you've, of course, already beat the game. But, um, I know, it's, it reinvents the experience. So I got a couple different questions I'm gonna... <clears throat> Cake and Bake, who is your favorite waifu in Breath of the Wild? Um, of course, the 
the shark, <laughs> um, Prince, whatever his, I don't know, whatever his name is, Simon, Sinon, I don't know, whatever begins with an S, I can't remember his name, but the guy who always does the, the we can do it, <laughs> that guy's awesome, so he's my waifu, um, what prompted you to start making videos, Riley Jarvis, um, I actually used to do videos professionally, so, really, it was a combination of that. Like, I was making boring videos, <laughs> corporate videos, animations and stuff, um, and I wanted to do something fun. I mean, I always used to play these games as a kid, and I have so much stored up knowledge about these games, so I figured, why not make a YouTube channel about all the stupid stuff I did as a kid and all the things I thought about as a kid? So that's why I started making videos and, and what got me into making videos. <clears throat> um, Gabriel Langlois, sorry if I mispronounced the last name. Um, what do, what character do I use in Smash? Um, I use Luigi and Ganondorf for Melee. Um, and Marth, Smash Brothers uh, Wii U, I use Pac-Man and Dr. Mario. Um, which is obviously a weird contrast between those two games, but, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna show the rocket glitch, and then while, while that's happening, we will- I'll answer some more questions. So this is what happens when you use the rocket power up with low gravity on. That was super anticlimactic. Hold on a second. It's supposed to send you rocketing into space. This- Alright, hold on, let me turn some different things on, because this is not- this needs to be way more intense. Let's see. While I'm doing this... <clears throat> Bulbasaur, do you like Mario Party? Mario Party, yes. I absolutely adore Mario Party. Um, 1 through 3 were probably some of my favorites, but the ones on the GameCube... Uh, 5, 6, and 7? It's 8 on the GameCube? I can't remember. Um, a lot of play, I played a lot of those, um, and I have very fond memories of those as well. I do want to talk about a Games and Games video. In one of my Games and Games videos, I want to talk about one of the things we did in Mario Party, um, the first one. Cause we, came, we basically came up with our own scenario, um, which was it, was it kept the game fun for a long time while we are collecting coins and stuff to get, then unlock other mini games and stuff like that. So let's see. Hmm. I wonder, so I'm trying to figure out. I actually may not be able to do the rocket launcher thing because from what I remember, this was all I needed to do it and it just let me go super high with it. It basically, in the blink of a second, you just went off the screen and you were stuck miles above the surface of the world. Um, but, uh, well, sorry, that's kind of disappointing. I wish I could, but I can't figure out <clears throat> the combination um, that should make it work. Let's see, what else I could... Yeah, because everything sh everything's on, anyways. Let's see. Half on land, half flag on top of the ground pound. Oh, Ga uh, game or Gams Toby was talking. Uh, so was talking about the uh, there's a glitch you can use while putting a barrel um, on the edge of the water to actually get under the water and walk around without having to use exploits or cheats. Well, I guess that's an exploit, but actually without having to use hacks. Um, there's also, if I remember correctly, there's like a... It might not work, but there's an area over here you can press up against that just makes you fall beneath the stage. Um, it's one of these corners. But of course, it's probably not going to work right now because I'm just <laughs> trying to show it off. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I'm going to answer a few more questions, but I can't show you the rocket thing. But I'll probably take two or three more questions. Um, so let's see. Oh, geez, there's a lot of them that piled up. <laughs> Dude3530, what are some of your favorite kinds of videos to make? Um, 
the pixel portals i think that you know the, the nostalgia based videos and some of the videos that actually don't get the great view the best of viewership are actually some of my favorite to make because i just get to have fun i mean i just get to really just go around and relive the games that i played as a kid remember why i enjoyed them so much and then compare them to real life places but also talk about some of the lore that's in the games um that's a really a lot of fun honestly but um so that's you know that's that let's see a couple more <laughs> um <laughs> it's <clears throat> don't let us i have not played monster hunter um my brother was really big into monster hunter though um i always watched him fighting stuff what is your next game you're messing with pancake train 576 i'm not sure yet um i i want to I'm not sure. I don't. I, I really thought of this one to do this. Actually, I was gonna add a couple of different things planned for this stream um, before I did Super Mario Sunshine. But I was like, I just do Super Mario Sunshine. I've been playing it nonstop for the past couple of days, so I might as well do it. I've been, you know, getting so much footage for the video for this weekend. Um, but uh, there will probably be other games. Um, I just have to. It's the thing is like spur of the moment when I remember like, oh, I used to do this in this game. That'd make a good stream. Let's do that. So that's kind of how, I guess, the methodology takes place. Let's see. I probably have time for a few more. <clears throat> Gabriel Natali, what's the most money you collected in Luigi's Mansion? Uh, I got the... I beat Luigi's Mansion probably, geez, six or seven times. Um, I, I don't remember the exact amount, but I got the highest mansion. Um twice i think um other times i didn't really i don't know i just there's some playthroughs where i didn't really collect a whole lot of stuff i just went through just to play the game but uh let's see okay so probably <laughs> goman 654 sonic adventure 2 may actually be a viable live stream because there's a lot of stuff i used to do in that game actually that i almost want to do that as a two-player live stream with my brother because we used to do versus mode, and it was just so ridiculous. He would always play as Amy, and Amy's probably the cheapest character in the game because, like, every 20 rings you get lets her freeze time for 20 seconds. By the time those 20 seconds are over, she can refreeze time again for 30 seconds, <laughs> and you never get to move. Um, but <clears throat> favorite NPC in Sunshine, Anthony Troinio. Sorry if I mispronounced the last name. Um, Favorite NPC, probably El Patasimo or whatever his name is. The the running man from Twilight Princess, or sorry, uh, Ocarina of Time. I thought that's kind of interesting that he's underneath that uh, that pink mask or that, that purple mask. So he's probably my favorite NPC. Um, <clears throat> Melon Speedruns, would you be interested in, a, in the Super Luigi Sunshine mod that I'm working on? That sounds amazing. Um, I will definitely have to follow up for you on Discord. Um, because I also saw that two-player Super Mario Sunshine came out not too long ago as well. Um, and I'm not sure if you're associated with that. I, the names are escaping me. But I'll definitely look into um, the stuff you're working on. Um, and I saw you dropped a message in Discord as well. I'll check that out. Um, let's see. <sighs> Which character would you add for Smash? Gabriel... Um, Langolois again. Um, what character would I add to Smash? Uh, Gino. Super Mario RPG. <laughs> I, I was so mad that he wasn't in, um, the game, or in, in Wii U and in Brawl when it came out. I'm not mad, just like, I would like to play as him. I would like, I would really like them to add Snake back too, because I was a big fan of, uh, Solid Snake. Um, let's see. Jeez, a lot of questions. Um, Watermark, what editing program do you use? Um, I use Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Um, those are where I primarily do all my editing and animating in. I also use Adobe Audition for editing my audio. Um, let's see. Please, Walkman05, please watch Super Mario Sunshine with lyrics. It's about one minute on YouTube. I'll have to check that out after the stream. Um, let's see. Cool. Well, I have 
Um, oh, Noel Trump, I love Wolf too. Wolf was actually my main in, in Brawl. So actually, I was actually really, really pretty decent at Brawl um, way back when. I actually competed in a few tournaments. Um, got to Grand Finals um, on one of them with Wolf, and then I just stopped playing. <laughs> um, and then you know, the competitive scene for Brawl just died altogether. Um, <clears throat> sorry for butchering anyone's name, by the way. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, but uh, yeah, my apologies for that. Um, yeah. Well, <clears throat> thank you so much for um, coming out. Did. Oh, hey, Terminal Lazy. I just saw Terminal Lazy pop in the chat. Um, so for those who don't know, Terminal Lazy is the man behind uh, Chinoscopy. Um, what started as a joint endeavor between ourselves, he has sort of taken that um, series under his wing. So he's he's the cartoon man. He's a great illustrator. Um, he just got done doing a Kickstarter for some cool pins that I got. They actually, you know, I, I got one of those. Um, definitely check out his stuff. I, I highly recommend Chinoscopy on Swanky Box as well. Um, but, uh, cool. Uh, Comic Sans 39. Hello. I noticed you. Um, but I think that's about it. Um, well, thank you so much for coming out. Um, this was a, a pretty fun stream. Uh, for those who are new, um, check out Swanky Box Discord. For anyone who doesn't use Discord, um, it's an area where we can just kind of chat all the time. A lot of fans, you know, your fans can talk to other fans. You can talk to other creators. Um, it's just a really cool, chill place. Um, there's a link in the description. Also, the this video will be going up on the Swanky Box Live channel. Um, so if you guys had a dip out earlier, you came back, this will also be um, on that. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much for coming out. Um, it's been a pleasure. And then I'll be streaming. I, I got to decide if I'm streaming next week or not. Um, I'll have to figure that out, and I don't know what I'd be streaming yet, but I will. I'll. I'll let you guys know. If um, follow me on Twitter as well, because that's usually where I dump most of my thoughts, besides Discord, um, and I can't really notify people who are watching the channel otherwise. Um, so I use those two outlets for my main source of communication. But uh, once again, thank you for coming out, and I will see all of you next time. And also on this Saturday, I have a Super Mario Sunshine video coming out. I uh, hope you enjoy it. But uh, all right, take care, everyone.